Put a pistol to my face, smack me in the mouth with it. With my mouth busted open. The man still got the fucking gun in my face. And I got mad. And I told him to shoot me. He said, we, we get you. You're mad over him, you know, taking your stuff, trying to pay, you know, pay back. No, 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 no. So after all this. No, 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 no. I wasn't even mad about that. This video contains the interrogation of a man who fatally shot another and was then involved in a standoff with a SWAT team. Johnny Trigg had been out of prison for eight months. He had been in on charges of improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle and having weapons under disability, for which he served nine months. Things had been going smoothly. He was getting his life back on track, and he expected to put prison behind him. Unfortunately, he became the target of bullying by another man in his apartment. Miquan Taylor. Various witnesses from other residences of the apartment agreed that Taylor would frequently harass Trigg for no reason. Matters came to a head over a bag of charcoal. It must have been the last straw for Trigg, who pursued Taylor out of the building, firing a gun and striking him. When the police arrived, Taylor was in critical condition, and Trigg was nowhere to be found. Taylor was taken to the hospital, where he died several days later from his injuries. Trigg was found a week later and faced off against a SWAT team before finally being taken in. All right, Mr. Trigg. All right, so obviously we're here to talk about a homicide. Okay, man. Um, the incident happened last, you know, last, last Wednesday, the 18th, an episode of that on West Stewart. Okay, you currently stay on West Stewart? I go check on my dad every day. My dad's my dad. Okay. Is it your dad's apartment there? Yes, yes, that's 1719 West Stewart? Yes, sir. Okay, you go there every day and check on him? Check on my dad. But prior to any of this. Trigg breaks down in tears. He has only recently been released from prison and knows that he will most likely be returning for the rest of his life. I put that to my dad's residence. And I was approached and assaulted with a pistol. And he knocked out. He got rid of the guns in my face. Told me he'd kill me if I was over my property. I don't even know this gentleman. I never spoke to him, never seen him. And I had not been going down here to see my dad on a regular basis because of this gentleman. When did all that happen? The 22nd or 23rd of April. Of April? Okay, so last month? He got told me the next time he seen an opportunity to present himself out of the day at night. And that morning, my just get my belongings, try to move to my new residence. God came out. He seen me, had them all blue. Went back in the house and came back with a gun. Second gun, he smacked me in the mouth with it. He came out, Who, who's he? <laughs> Who's the guy that came out with the gun? The dead gentleman. The dead gentleman? Where did he come out of? His girlfriend's house, which is two doors from my door. Two doors from your door? One and other. Excuse me. You see me? Went back in the house. At this time, I was coming back out. A trash can. Put it in the back of my truck. Guy came back out the house. Gun in hand, looking for me. Did he say anything to you? 
seems impossible that such violence could break out over a simple bag of charcoal, but similar events have occurred for less. I just released another extremely intense interrogation on my Patreon, this time about a son of a millionaire being interrogated for the death of his father. His trial was the longest and most expensive trial in the history of St. John. Watch it right now at patreon.com backslash stranger stories plus. Fucking bag, this man did all of what he did to me on the fucking bag of charcoal that belonged. Like the like the grilling charcoal? Like using a grill? Was it just sitting on your back porch? Okay. So he takes the bag of charcoal. Did he end up paying you for it? Either then or down the road? They told me he left the money, but the way he approached me. And all I did is just told the man, I said, well, you giraffe, sis. I don't care what it is, I'm going to touch nothing over here. And the man just... This was the same day? I approached him about my approach. Okay. So this was all the same day? Everybody over here will tell you I did nothing wrong. I tried to avoid this man. I haven't even been going to see my dad on a regular basis. Because of this gentleman. And every fucking time this gentleman would see one of my vehicles, he would come and talk. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. I asked him, do you know me? Where do you know me from? Why did you bother me? I'm telling you. 
outside of prison. You see me all the time. You see me with my kids. You see what I'm doing, man. Mm -hmm. Let me make it so he he borrows back of charcoal from you. He repays you, supposedly. And then he just pulls out a pistol and and hits you with it. Okay, so this so this so this was a month ago. Okay, so last week on the eighteenth. Uh, no, I'm gonna go back. Okay. Well, Over there, I seen him at the state store. Mm -hmm. And he fought with me. I left, got my little alcohol beverage. What do you mean he fought with you? Uh, what? Him and two of his guys pulled behind my truck, talking shit. I was with my whole that guy, man, fuck them. Little young punks, and I don't know him. I don't even know the guy for the guy. I'm telling you two things about the good or bad. I don't know. And then what? One. All I was trying to do was get my problem. And cover my dirt. Was he was he going to his so he came out of his apartment. He came out of your apartment. As he was coming out, his apartment on his way wherever he was going. What time is this? About early. 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 Okay. My dad used to get his insulin. He usually on his insulin around five thirty. No later than six years. So it had to have been around 620, I believe, 625. Okay. And um, the guy came out. I was putting top of my shoes in the back of my truck. The man was halfway to his vehicle. Like I wouldn't turn around. Went back into his residence. He came back out. Looking for Triggs is trying to suggest that this was self defense, but there is only his word to support this claim. How do you know he's looking for you? I've seen him. I've seen him. I was going back in as he was going back in. Grandma, I got all my stuff right there with the door. I know y'all seen that when y'all in the apartment. All my stuff is lying by the door. Maybe it's just hold my truck and go. Lock eyes with me. Weapon in hand. Came from around my truck. The weapon that I had was inside the truck. He came around. I was already weapon in hand. He looked, he sent the weapon, retreated for her. Man had a weapon, I had a weapon. I've been shot before. I took my family's foot in How many? How many times did you shoot? The forensics team found three casings at the scene. I was trying to, I guess, the element of surprise. He was trying to 
I don't know. I can't say what the man was trying to do. Mm -hmm. I just know. I'm tired of prison and I want to turn out the dump. So when you go to shoot though, does, so you shoot the first time. <laughs> Does he take off running away from the apartment and the cars and you shoot, you continue to shoot? <laughs> Let me ask you this, did your gun jam at any time? Or misfire? I think you can. I think there's some stuff that you're not telling me that you want me that's really holding you down. All right, listen. I'm listen, I, I told you, truth, sir. I told you, there's I'm a lot more than I know. I'm the truth, sir. There's a lot. I don't think you are. There's a lot more to this story than you're not telling me. Sir, I'm all right. Telling you to God, I'm the truth, <coughs> sir. Everything transpired, sir. I'm not fabricating anything. When you went to fire the first time, did you gun jam or did it misfire? The, the first time <coughs> the the incident of the, of no, this incident that happened a week almost a week ago uh, that involved that involved shooting this guy uh, no I don't, like I said sir like I know I'm not lying to you I'm not fabricating anything to you sir I'm telling you to God I am just true to the place sir I don't know what stories you got. I don't know any of this. All I can tell you, sir, is what I encountered, what I experienced. Okay, you know, at that time, there's other people that are up, right? I'm going to tell you. you know, okay, no, I'm telling you, there's, there's other people that are up and out and about at that time. There's other people that saw what happened. Okay? They saw what happened. Exactly. And I'm not fabricating anything. We're trying to come, you know, we obviously, everybody's got a story. Everybody sees what they saw, and you were obviously the one involved in it. And, you know, for the most part, for the most part, I think you're being truthful. There's some stuff that, I, that I'm just going to call out. God, honest truth, sir. Uh, you can give me a polygraph right now. Okay, so if, it, if, if, if what you're saying is true, if what you're saying is true, this gentleman had a gun, and you're claiming this up, that you shot him in self-defense. Why didn't you stay there when, for the police and tell your side of the story then instead of being on the run for almost a week? You know, I listened to my counsel. My child obtained counsel the very next day. My counsel told me, just chill out. Do what you've been doing. Let me sort through this shit. That's all I've been doing. Who's your counsel? Charles Slicer. Okay, so Mr. Slicer told you to stay on the run? He told me to sit back, chill out, and let him sort through this mess I had myself into. Okay. First it was just a felonious assault. The dynamics was going to change, I was understanding. Now it's a murder. That's mm -hmm. what I'm facing. Yeah, because the guy died. I heard. Yeah, he died. He died on Saturday. Mr. Trick, where were you standing um, when you shot the first time? Side of my truck. All right, next to your truck. Like the driver's side or the passenger side? Driver's side. Because I came from the driver. Came from the driver's side. And then the next shot that you fired, where do you think you were at? Probably in between uh, my vehicle and his. And what kind of vehicle does he have? Or what color is it at least? I believe it was his girlfriend's vehicle. Do you remember what color it was? Gold, tanner, teal, teal, teal color. Yeah. 
Now, as you were firing at him, obviously he's running away from you. No. Taylor was struck in the back and the side, which shatters Trigg's claim of self-defense. Uh, well, you shot in the back, so obviously he's running away from you. Yeah. So, yeah, so he's running yeah, away from you. Yes. And you're continuing to fire at him. No. No. Well, yes. He, 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 well, he couldn't have been running because if y'all could clearly see, it wasn't just one gun being fired. No, it was just one gun being yeah, fired. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. And no other guns were being fired. Really? Yes. And he shot in the back, which is an indicator that he was running away. No, sir. And how was he shot in the back? He was shot in the back. Probably from the, the angle that I was standing and the angle that he was standing. That's the only thing I can, I can recall. Like I said, sir. Because you shot a car. You shot him in the back. Once I seen weapon in hand, that's just like if I had a weapon and y'all seen me with a weapon in hand, but what are y'all going to do? Well, I mean, here, here's the thing, like, there's, there's no weapon recovered at the scene. There's no other casings recovered at the scene. Everyone else that we interviewed said that he's walking out to the car, getting into the car when you open fire on him. So, and we've got that from different witnesses. They're all confirming that. So to us, it makes sense that you'd been beaten multiple times by this guy who sounds like an absolute jackass, pardon my language, and you were upset and angry, understandably, and this was your opportunity. No, sir. My opportunity was to get my belongings and get the fuck. Taylor was unarmed, and Trigg could have left at any time. He continues to lie, even though there were multiple witnesses to the incident. My new residence, that was my opportunity. I just signed my lease. I fear this guy. I haven't even been going down there to check on my father on a regular basis because of this guy. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Every chance this guy got to fucking told me, he told me. Every fucking chance he got. I don't even know this guy. I never had no feelings with him, no altercations with him, no nothing. That's what I don't understand why he did all of what he did to me. I believe my property. I, I, I believe all of that. my property. I believe that. You stuck a gun in my face. Approximately five or seven minutes, you told me you would kill me, you smacked me a second time, and at this time, I'm asking you, why? And, and, I, and I believe all of this over me telling you what you can do and not do with my property. I don't care what it is, what we give you. Okay, prime example. The same $10 he tried to give me, he could have went and got his own fucking truck up. He was nitpicking, constantly picking, bullying me. He absolutely was bullying you. He was fucking bullying me. And Mr. Trick, no one, no one, no one, no one's even questioning that. Because that, that's, I mean, we've heard that from multiple people that he was an I absolute bully. I did to tell you, man, I'm a good guy. I'm a guy I'm very bad and all I came home trying to do. While Taylor may very well have been harassing and bullying Trigg, it doesn't change the fact that he was unarmed at the time. Stay the fuck out of trouble. I did so much I never done. Do you think my got my license, insurance, life insurance policy, my own place of residence now? I was doing so fucking good for myself, man. I was doing something I never did in 44 fucking years for myself, man. Only for this gentleman to come and fuck with me for what? I'm still puzzled. I did nothing wrong to this gentleman whatsoever. Because he was a bully, man. I did nothing wrong to him. He this a man put a pistol to my face, smacked me in the mouth with it, put it to my face for five or seven minutes. My cousin that was in the vehicle with me will verify. My little brother came at the ass end and seen everything. My mouth busted open. The man still got the fucking gun in my face. 
And I got mad. And I told him to shoot me. If it ain't that much to you, you gotta do all this over my shit, man. Really? You doing all this to me over my shit? The same $10 you could have went and bought your own fucking taco. You was bullying me. For me to pull out and how you was aggressive, obnoxious. I took. I'm pull up to this. Just imagine you pulling up to your residence. He said, we, we get you. You're mad over it, you know, taking your stuff, trying to pay, you know, pay back. No, 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 so no. after all this. No, 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 no. I wasn't even mad about that. What were you mad about? This shit transpired so fast. Yeah. He had sent his man to do all of what he wanted to do from the time my vehicle pooped up. Okay. Yeah. On April 22nd. This guy was a jerk, man. I get, I get it. The, the problem is that going back to the 18... Hear me out. Here, 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 here. Yeah, all right. So, but if we go fast forward to the 18th, all right, which was last week, we've got you shooting at him, standing in the road. Then we've got your additional casings going down the sidewalk as you're going down towards Danner, continuing to shoot. And then we've got a windshield that's shot out and we've got him shot in the back. I mean, so you're you're pursuing after him. You're you're, you're alleging you're in fear for your life. Yes, I'm telling you the guy. But you're pursuing him. For you to tell me that there was not a gun on the scene. Where is the gun? I don't think there was one. Yes, it was, sir. Where yes, was the gun that you used at? The gun that I used, I don't know. It was on the scene. It should have been on the scene. Where at? It should have been right beside his fucking vehicle. See what I'm saying? Did you drop it after you shot him? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I panicked when I seen that gun in that man's hand. At the same fucking gun, he smacked me in the mouth with me, so I know. Yeah. I had a clip hanging out that long. That's how I know. It's a, the man had a weapon in hand when he came back out for the set. Okay, so after the shooting, where'd you go? Did you go back in your apartment? Yes, yes, I did, I did. Then, did you go out the back door or out the front door when you left before? No, actually, no, I stayed, I stayed there. I was trying to find my cell phone. And I couldn't find no cell phone. Were you inside the apartment? My keys, my house keys were still there, my door was wide open, I ran out of there. I was in fear for my life. Did you run out the front door? Uh, like Stewart Street side? Yeah, hey, Stewart Street side. I ran. Yeah, I ran towards the park, the yeah. Stewart Street side, yes. And where'd you go from there? Uh, I went, when I left there, I went to my mom's house first. Yeah. I let my mom know what took place. She told me, well, running ain't gonna make me better. I said, no, I'm not running. I said, I need an attorney. And I contacted the attorney. Council, my council been telling me since the incident. Sit back, chill, see what I gotta do. That's what do this shit. Right now, it's a felonious assault, but the dynamics should change. So, what'd you do with the gun? The gun, you know what I'm No, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. That's how I know it's some bullshit involved. The gun. It was you, should still been on the scene, and the gun that he had should still be on his person, man. I'm telling you right now, there's no guns on scene. But that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm listen, trying to Listen, listen. Officers were there pretty quickly after the shooting came out, okay? There's eyewitnesses, multiple eyewitnesses, that watched this whole thing transpire, and none of them, not one of them said, this dude ran up and got the gun and took it into this apartment, or you dropped the gun. No, they're saying, He's run away, you shot him, you ran back into your apartment, then the police showed up. And then obviously, you know, a SWAT standoff happened and everything when you weren't even in. All of the evidence is stacking up against Trigg, but he still refuses to tell the truth. And you were at your mom's now, as you say. Yes. Okay? So, you didn't drop the gun. Sir, the gun should have still been on the scene. I'm telling you the gun is okay. true, sir. The gun should still. Where do you? Okay, so let me ask you this. Where, so since this, hey, you haven't been at your mom's house. 
since then. No. Where, where you been at? Stand here, stand here. Last night, I talked to my sister probably around. I ain't got my phone. Probably around. Is it that blue phone that was in there? Yeah, I was okay. probably around uh, 3 this morning. She was getting up for work. Mm -hmm. I was on man just wandering around. You know, just really want to get this shit behind me. I haven't had a good night's rest since this shit happened. I bet. I bet you've been on the run and all this stuff's been yeah, in your head. Like. Take it, but, like, I want to get this behind me. Where's your truck at? Hell. My mom's. I told it to my mom's. Okay. Right. What kind of gun did you have? Uh, No, this is the first night I ever stayed with my sister. So, this, so you went there last night? What time? Yeah, last night. What time? Well, this morning, actually around. This is this morning? Yeah, around. Okay. Uh, she had to be at work at 5, so it was about 3 30, 4 o'clock. Okay, morning. so. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't see any. She goes to sleep on the couch or in the bedroom? On the couch. You're on the couch. I'll see right there on the left. On the sofa. Right okay. There. Alright. And then, like I said, I woke up this morning to this. And I don't thank y'all for not hurting. Thank y'all for not hurting. Really appreciate you. So what about the, so, the gun that was found in the couch? Straight up, is that the gun? Don't, don't, listen. No, sir. Be straight. No, sir. The gun that no, was in the couch. No, that was, should have still been on the scene, sir. I on the scene. So what was the deal with the gun in the couch? I don't know what I'm talking about, though, okay. Which is true, we've been we're being very respectful. Sir, I would tell you to go, go DNA the gun and fingerprint me. I don't know nothing about no gun. So, no yeah, okay, so if your DNA is not on that gun, do you mind if we collect your DNA to compare? Yeah, come on. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that a little bit, okay? The cell phone, that's your cell phone, the blue one that was right there on the little table, okay? What, what's the, which phone number is that? Um, actually, that was my sister's phone. That's your sister's phone? Mm -hmm. She's saying it's not her phone. The, the phone that I got, that's my big sister's phone. That's the phone I've been using. It. Two. What number is that? Five, five, two, oh. Is it five, two, oh, um, 7251? 937, Eric. 937. Mm -hmm. Did you know the passcode on that phone? Um, yeah. What's the task, Kevin? Um, oh, oh, seven, three, seven. And that's your sister's son? Mm hmm Okay. All right. What's, what's your sister's name? Uh, Lakita. Lakita? Mm hmm All right. Do you know where she says that? Benny, Benny Place. Benny Place, okay. These are the DNA swaps, okay? So anything else on that gun, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send the gun and I'm gonna send these to the lab just to compare, okay? Have you ever done these before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, I'm gonna I'll open it. I'll have you grab it. Just swab the inside of your cheeks and everything really good, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we'll put them right back in here, all right, buddy? Yes, sir. You know, grab both of them. Get swab the both inside of your cheeks real well. Trigg is confident that the DNA test will come out in his favor, but many people underestimate just how difficult it can be to fully remove traces from items. Put them right back in there. All right, thanks, sir. All right. Now, let's have a step up. Okay. Give us just a minute, okay, Mr. Trigg. Do you need anything right now? No, sir. Catch pass. Can I have a cigarette? Huh? Uh, give us just a minute on that, okay? All right, Mr. Trader. All right, just a couple of follow-up questions here, everybody. All right. So, have you been staying at your sister's house before this at all? No. So you're not living with your sister or mom or whatever you You literally went over there at 4 o'clock 
3 30, 4 o'clock this morning. That's it. Okay. But I'm just saying, you, like, you don't have any clothes there, you don't get mail there, nothing, right? Okay. Were you by yourself when you went over there? Hmm? Were you by yourself when you went over there? Or did your girlfriend go over there? Well, my cousin brought me up over there. What's your cousin? Is this the same cousin that was with you during the, the, the accident? What's your cousin's name? Leslie Owens. What is it? Leslie Owens. Leslie Owens? Yeah. And they dropped you off over on Redwood. Just yes. Was anybody else with you? No, no. He, he dropped me off. I didn't want him to know where I was going. Okay. So he dropped me off at. What's that going to be? Dead door and red wood? Okay. Okay, so I can block out, block yeah. out and you walk yeah, out. I didn't want him to know where I was going. Okay. And okay. you were by yourself? Mm hmm Okay. Tawana wasn't with you? No. Okay. When I got when I got when I got to my sister's this morning, mm -hmm. I had called her because she had called me yesterday and uh told me that, you know, the US Marshal was looking for me. And I was like, well shit, I ain't running for nobody. I'm just doing what my counsel told me to do. Like right now, I ain't supposed to be doing this, but I did nothing wrong. I don't feel I've done anything wrong. Okay. But again, just to confirm, when you got to your sister's house this morning, you were by yourself, mm -hmm. and you have not seen your girlfriends. No, no, I, I seen her this morning. When did, where did you see her at? Uh, she came to my sister's. She came over to Redwood? Mm -hmm. When you got there this morning? No, actually. When, when y'all got the call, when y'all was at her house this morning, mm -hmm. she came to see me. She brought me some cigarettes. Brought me a pack of cigarettes. And uh, it was so crazy. It was so coincidental because the same time she bring me cigarettes up and she dropped the grandbaby off at school, y'all was calling me. Okay. So did you ever come inside the house or did she just drop off the cigarettes to you? No, she came in for a brief second. Okay. The detectives are trying to determine if his family was knowingly harboring a suspect, so the proper charges can be made if needed. Anything else can you tell us, Mr. Trigg? No, sir. Okay. okay. When, was last, okay when was the last time you talked to Mr. Slicer? Um, let's see. Monday? Monday, Monday, so Monday. Monday, mm -hmm. okay. he had doctor court yesterday, so I was gonna contact him again today. Cause I, I just, like I said, I just want to get this behind you, man. What you know, whatever come out of this, man, I, I just want it behind me. Okay, I did nothing wrong, man. I, I, I swear, I never remember any of this shit. Okay, you can't just keep. Fucking tormenting, tormenting the person, and you study plan with this fucking butt. All right, Mr. Drake, it's just coming. We'll be right back in. All right. All right. We're right. We'll be in the back in a couple minutes, man. Right? Yes, yeah. Johnny Trigg was convicted of murder for the death of Taylor and was sentenced to 21 years in prison. Additionally, he was given 1,220 days for violating his parole. That'll do it for today. If you like this video and want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below where you can do just that. Thank you for watching and stay safe.